Why is quantitative monitoring necessary? So I think quantitative monitoring of neuromuscular blockade is becoming essential um, from an economic perspective. That's my slant on this. I think most people who listen to this panel discussion will be familiar with the fact that medicine is turning to um, much more stringent measurement and reporting of quality metrics and cost of care. And anesthesiologists, I think it's not not a stretch to say that anesthesiologists have struggled a little bit to participate in that world. We try and time our antibiotic administrations and beta blocker administrations and keep the patient warm in hope of affecting patient outcomes, but oftentimes very indirectly. Whereas residual neuromuscular blockade and the pulmonary complications that result therefrom are a disease that we clearly own. And we've sort of skated over thin ice for years because the temporal disconnect between when the complication is probably set up in the early postoperative period and when it becomes clinically evident is long enough that nobody points the finger at us. But I think there's enough evidence in the literature now that, that we should be aware that this is clearly our problem uh, and solving it will, will not only improve patient outcomes, but will will significantly save money for our healthcare systems. And this is something that nobody else can do. So this is a real opportunity for our specialty, I think.